In 2050, there will be two and a half billion more people on Earth. Most of them will be living in cities. More food is required, and that's why Philips Lighting is growing a solution. They're farming indoors with colored LED lights. What we do over here is we uh, control the temperature, we control the light, we control the humidity, the irrigation strategy. We have different substrates, different varieties, basically all the parameters to grow a plant. And uh, by controlling all of them, you can really get the most out of a plant and uh, really optimize for yield taste, those kind of things. They grow crops in multiple layers. It will save space and resources, so it's more sustainable. So on, let's say, one kilogram of lettuce, we use approximately two liters of water. If you compare that to open field in Spain or in California, for example, they typically use 200 liters for one kilogram of lettuce. So we save a lot of uh, water. The other benefits of city farming depend on the region. Especially Japan, one of our big countries. Um, with the nuclear disaster in the past, people are a little bit hesitant to eat uh, lettuce, leafy greens coming from the field. So they said if we grow it indoor, in a completely controlled environment, we are guaranteed that it's food safe, uh, it's ye available year round and the quality is really high. If you look at North America, it's mostly focused around the local perspective. People in New York want to have a fresh head of lettuce and they won't, don't want to have a head of lettuce which has traveled from Salinas in California for four days in a truck. By the time it hits your plate, it's already almost a week old. And if you harvest something and then taste it immediately, you can really taste the freshness and uh, you can improve the quality there. Because the crops grow indoors, no chemicals are necessary. They don't get bothered by bugs and it's also more nutritional. But is it tasty? If you take a crop like this, this is a red-veined uh, sorrel, so it's a little bit acid. But uh, yeah, you can just take it and eat it and it's super tasty. But there are also challenges. You need energy to run the lights. And the growers of city farming have to invent a system everybody can work with. Still, people are excited. Everybody's super enthusiastic. Obviously, what we try to do here is make all the mistakes so our customers don't need to make them and they can uh, really focus on the growing part of things so that we do the, uh, the research part. Everybody's super excited as well because they don't expect on a third floor of an industrial building on the high-tech campus you can grow plants. So the plants we grow here typically go to the strip and people probably don't know that they're eating the best uh, lettuce that, uh, that there is available in the market. Philips Lighting is optimistic about the future of city farming. We will not feed the world using this technology, but we can make the world a little bit better by optimizing on, uh, yeah, on all the quality aspects and the yields of these kind of, uh, of products. I think especially also the combination between greenhouse horticulture and indoor vertical farming, but also still outdoor growing and biological uh, ways of farming will help us feed the world uh, in a more sustainable way.